Hi guys, welcome to Creation Lab Soap Your Channel. Um, today we're going to do an unboxing video. I had to close my rainbow window. I, it's really beautiful like thing that you put on your window that brings in all kinds of rainbows into here. <laughs> but I had to shut it out because it's a little, little bit bright today um, on the thing. Now I haven't actually opened this box, but you know, and I'm very thankful for UPS people and all that, but this is how this box came today. <laughs> so I'm gonna do an unboxing and then afterwards I'm gonna be very meticulous checking off everything in hopes that nothing's missing because this is hanging out and you just never know. And I know they've been working really hard and stuff, but I wish that they would report it, that it was partially opened because, sorry about all that, but because that if there's something missing, it kind of becomes a he said, she said kind of thing if it was that way. But anyway, I took pictures on the porch too and things. Um, I saved these and used these. I reused them. It, it's, I mean, why throw it away, you know? So I got that. And so um, this is a semi big order. We had a really big Mother's Day um, event my daughter's been doing um, if you go on our Facebook page you'll see all the stuff we're involved in including giveaways which is I'll just say our Facebook is our creation lab I always say that in the videos but um, you're really missing out if you're not part of that page but um, we had to do a, a re resupply because we ran out a lot of things so I seen this this is all, this is a wholesale supplies plus order. Look how big those chunks of glitter are. And normally glitter's little, but look, it's bio. So it's biodegradable glitter. It's, it's safe for the environment. You get to have the big chunkies. And I had to do it in pink. And then um, I want, I sometimes I'll order different glitters from places because I want to test out them. What it, it never looks like it does online. That one's got more of a purple tint, in my opinion, than what it looked like online. But I'm still happy. We use a lot of glitter, we have to refill it. So I get these little teeny bags. And that, I mean, there's a lot in there. That's enough to make for the big one and that one to make a few soaps. But I get the little ones. And then I test them out and see how I like them. And then if I like them, and it's something I definitely want, like we do our Super Twinkle, um, the, the indolescent one, um, and we order it in a big supply. But sometimes I've gotten them and I might just not liked it or it's not been the color that I thought. So always, when you're buying these, buy small. All right, we're gonna be making whipped soaps and different things like sugar scrubs and that. So we got jars, and without jars, you have to have lids. These are not the lid case. These ones are the whip soap ones. See how they're bigger than these? And then the, the lids. And so, for the, if you ever order from it, and maybe you're ahead of the game than me, but when I ordered first from Wholesale Supplies Plus, I was a little confused because I was like, they don't come with the lids. No, they don't. You have to order the lids separately. And I didn't quite get it. And what I found was that when you buy the jars first and you go by size and, and that, then they will give you a number that fits it. And see that number right here, which is 70 over 400. So when you buy those lids, it'll have that number on it. So that means the lid. And you can get ones that are dome. You can get different colors. I just chose the cheapest option and I got those and somewhere in here are the lids for the little ones and then these ones are 58 400 and these ones are when I said dome these ones would be a dome so we got those and then bath milks and we got some of these now I ordered some on Amazon but these were a much better deal so when I replenish it we have these and I 
there's the lids. Nothing too exciting, I know. And then those are more for the big ones. So there's two packages of each. And then um, we've been talking, my daughter and that have been talking, we want to do some kind of like space kind of themed, maybe galaxy or whatever. But I got these because these crescent moons I thought would be really cool, especially if we make them glow in the dark and put them on the furnace soaps. So I got those molds. I love, I work with the plastic ones too, like your chocolate molds and stuff like that too. And I have a trick where I put them once they've set into the freezer for like 10 minutes and then I run really hot water in, in the sink and put hot water onto this part of it. And then I, they will just pop out easier. And so some people hate it because they are hard to get out, but not if you use the freezer just straight hot trick it just basically they, they pop out you got to be careful not to get water on that part of them but I always just spray it on this part and I have a plate ready and just go pop 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 but the silicone ones they do them all on their own so we gotta love those now this mold here is one that my daughter wanted um, they're puzzle pieces because she wants to do um, a bunch of different soaps. She works with kids with disabilities. She works with all kinds of disabilities, but um, she wants to definitely do some autism ones because that a bunch of the kids do. There's not a lot of things for people with dyslexia um, and, you know, towards symbols like the autism does and people that have all kinds of different, different types, but autism does. And so she thought that would be cute. And so I said, no problem, and we got it. Now, this is not the fun order. The fun order is coming. Wait till you see. We got an order coming from Mad Micah's and one from Scent Expression. And um, the Mad Micah's is colors. I think there's a few fragrances. Oh, no, I think it's mainly colors that I'm getting. And the Scent Expression's got some... Um, it's it's got all kinds of things but also some fragrances and so this right here this little sucker i cannot find but i had but so when i find it i got two this is the round circle mold that i was looking for for my pokeball <laughs> so i may try and make that one again <laughs> i may not we'll see but i i mean overall like this could be a planet and different things I needed this mold so since I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it I got it and then um, got some more citric acid we we make in a lot of bath bombs now I can go to Walmart and I can get a big bag reasonable price of baking soda or I can get it from here but citric acid the best way to do is from your one of your big suppliers so I got a big bag of that um, we're going to be making a whipped butter, butter, and I got an orange butter, a cranberry butter, and then now I've got some mango butter. So this goes in with whipped soap and a few other things and fragrance and color and things to make it all pretty. But these butters make it so that it's really good for your skin. Um, butters are a different, it's like a, they're more moisturizing than regular oils for your skin, so butters will be used in things like lotions, whipped soaps, scrubs sometimes, etc. So, mango butter, we got a 16 ounces, which is a pound of that. Um, and then, um, we often use my, a good example, and I thought I'd put enough in it, but um, according to like, I think the fragrance oil that I used said it had point for a uh, manila in, in it so I didn't put very much in it but I put a little bit into it but I just needed to put and this is referring to the poco ball soap which we called the poco apocalyptic poco ball <laughs> huh, words are hard um but anyway that I put it in there like thinking that it would do and it went really dark the white did so yeah, so we got some more because I was about out too, which is why I didn't worry about it. But this one is for cold process soap. So this will make it, and it won't it won't make it be perfect, but it will take away some of the darkening ability. Because anything with vanilla, vanilla in, in that's like, I get a lot of requests for 
I want a white cake soap, or I want pink cupcakes, and I want them to smell like cupcakes. Well, any kind of cake scent, or anything that has a vanilla uh, scent, and vanilla comes in a lot of fragrances, any of those, they're not gonna be the pink that you want, the purple that you want, because they will start to, to darken. And so that tries to help it, but I mean, with cake, like if you you see my poke up, Pokeball soap that had 0.4 to put it in perspective most of the sweet scents like cake and and um, Sugar scents and that have 10 point so not even 0 0.4 10 point 9 point so it it's really just you know Hitting your head against the wall you can use them in bath bombs it, It's less likely, but they'd still do over time and melt and pour I've had a little bit more luck, but still it, it does. But with the cold process, it just, if it's got a high vanilla, it's gonna go brown. <laughs> There's not much you can do because you can't put too much of that in there because it messes up the balance of the soap. And you, in the end, you want it to be soap and you want it to work like soap, so. Um, and then we had, we got some more of these in here. You know, save those. We've had a lot of, we've been making a lot of different salt blends and that they've been selling really good down in Battle Mountain and we're gonna make some more. And so I got lots of Epsom salt and European salt and Dead Sea salt here, but they're all the white salts and I wanted to add some more color into things. So we got this black sea salt and I didn't get the fine, it got small. And so like this will also add another color element into it. And then I also, cause I just think these are pretty when you make the salt, so it just gives it a little extra. This is the medium, so you see how big those are. This one is the pink sea salt. And so while I already have sea salts, you know, I mean, they're a little bit different and they do a little bit different things. The one I think comes from lava or something like that and um, from an area with it. And this is more Himalayan um, sea salt. So it's different regions, but basically these here, I got them for the color and that's the honest um, with it. So I only have one more thing into this. And so I did have to get one color because um, my purples, I, I am getting a little low on. We, we use purple and pink a lot and blues a lot. But this one here I seen on there and it was on sale, Amethyst. And so let's see if I can open it without it getting everywhere. This is such a beautiful color. Like I'm sure on camera it's not gonna pick up the, the different tone on it, but here, we'll show you that. It, it's got the, I mean, it looks like Amethyst. It's got the shimmery. I don't know if it picks up on camera, but it's got a little gold into it too. And so we decided to get some new mica and that, so we got that. And it was a really good price on, and it's a two ounce jar. This will last me well over a year, so. <laughs> I love it. So it's like, it seems expensive when you buy these, and they are, each color adds up. But when you think about how long like something that cost, I, I can't remember. There is not actually a picking order in here, so I did notice that. So I am gonna have to go and go online and see if I can bear it because, yeah, there was, there was no, I mean, that's the end of the box. There was no paper, so. <laughs> uh. All right, I mean, I've done so many orders and looked at so many supplies that I can't remember it, but all right, we'll get with them if something's missing. But anyway, this is the last thing. Thank you for watching. Some of you, soap supplies isn't interesting you. Some of you don't want to watch even soap being made. That's okay. But um, then there are some people that are soap makers that watch themselves. And it's kind of cool to see the different products that are coming in. As well as you guys to see. And then I'm telling you where I'm getting my supplies, which is Wholesale Supplies Plus, and you can check them out. You can see that their palm oil is um, sustainably resourced and that all these products I'm not getting from, um, and I'm, I'm not trying to slam some sulfurs, but 
I mean, I have a strong opinion about it. There is some companies that will provide fragrance oil on mica, and they're really, really cheap, but they're coming from China. Some of these places, like, um, I mean, those of you that, that have, like, they're, they're not a name brand at all, so they're not watched at all. And, like, I don't want my micas to have things that are not supposed to be in there. Micas are supposed to be cosmetic grade, and they're supposed to be able to be used on face. I mean, micas are used in makeup, but you get things from China and that they can have things like lead and fragrance oils can have traces of formaldehyde and different things like that. You will not get that from me. I will pay the little extra to make sure they're really good named brands. I do my research in that. Um, and so that's why I invite you to kind of see what we're getting and, and where they come from. Um, and so you can trust us with that because we use these products too and I give them to my grandbabies and my my family members. Um, often we give away so much that, you know, like we give away things and stuff like that, you know, that's, we're doing it because we have a passion and we love what we do. It's a hobby for us and we enjoy all the feedback when everybody loves what we do and we can take pride in that and it, and it gives us a drive. Um, we've always been crafters <laughs> and now we get to make a business of it. Thank you for everybody for watching and thank you for being part of the Our Creation Lab team. Um, feel free to like, subscribe and you know, any questions or comments, feel free to ask. We'll, we'll be quick to answer. Thank you guys, have a good day.